Right now we're going to look at the internal components of the AJ300 recorder. First we have the motherboard. The motherboard acts as the power supply, the main processor, and also has the input circuitry on it. There are different motherboards depending on the model number of the recorder. If you have a one pen recorder or a two pen recorder, if you have just a recorder only or a recording controller, the motherboards can be a little bit different. The power comes in up on the top right here next to the transformer on TB1 and the input circuitry comes in down on the bottom of the board. When the signals come in, then they're sent over to the stepper driver board on the left hand side of the unit and the stepper driver board takes and splits the signal up and sends the signal out to all of the motors and also out to the main display board. The chart motor connects up on the top of the motor driver board in the front here on this top connector and the chart motors are universal. They're all the same. The chart rotation time is programmable. Then we have our pen 1 motor which plugs in directly behind the chart motor on the top of the driver board and our pen 2 plugs in down on the bottom side of the motor driver board. The display board is located in the front door assembly behind this stainless cover on the back side of the front door and the display functions as the keypad and the display. Back inside the unit uh, we see we have some empty space in this case. Uh, if we were to actually have some option boards, if we had a relay board it would mount on the top right hand side in the back of the case. It would plug into the motherboard in this connector here. You can order the recorder with or without relays. And down on the bottom right is where a milliamp output board could be uh, installed. It would connect to this connector on the bottom right hand side of the motherboard. So you can get it with or without the milliamp outputs as well. Now we're going to take a look at all the components removed from the unit so you can have a better look at how everything connects and where it plugs in. So here's our motherboard again and then we have our long ribbon cable that comes over and plugs into the driver board. We have our shorter ribbon cable that plugs in directly below the longer one. And then we have our multi-conductor cable down here on the bottom. And here's our display cable that comes out of the back side of the uh, stepper driver board and comes over and goes into the side of the display board, which would be located in the front door. And then we can see where our motors connect up on the top of the stepper driver board. We have our chart motor, plugs in right here, goes over to the chart drive. And our pen one motor plugs in directly behind where the uh, chart motor plugs in. And down on the bottom, we have our pen two motor that plugs in to the bottom of the stepper driver board.